Hi guys, I'm White Up Gamer, and today we're going to look at a brand new Jurassic World game that was announced yesterday called Jurassic World Aftermath. Now, this is a VR game we're going to be on the Oculus, which uh, might be a bit unfortunate because I haven't got one. Um, and last time I tried VR, I went sick after about 10 minutes, so it's not looking good for me to be playing it. But anyway, uh, we're going to look at the trailer, read some information on it, and then I'm going to review my thoughts on it. And obviously, you guys can let me know what you think. So, let's have a look at the trailer, guys. So there we are, guys. That was the trailer. Um, I think it, it's find it very interesting the kind of fact that we've got um, Jurassic Park music over it, which is quite a nice touch as well, making it a little bit more creepy. The I think the main talking point is the kind of style of graphics that they've gone for. Now, I think every single person in a Jurassic community who is also a gamer will probably want a like a survival horror kind of Jurassic World Jurassic Park game and. We've kind of got one. In a sense, not everybody will be happy that it's one VR only. And also the style of graphics. Now, in terms of me, I actually I'm actually quite happy with the shell the the cell shaded kind of look. I think it'll make it a unique game in the franchise. Um, as well as it being VR, I think we've had a couple of little kind of VR Jurassic World games. Um, I don't know whether they'd be classed as games, the more things, the more experiences, more than anything. Uh, but this being a full VR game will make it unique. And um, obviously, the way the graphics are will make it unique as well. But let's read up, let's read up on what we've got. So that's the uh, trailer that we've just announced. So Jurassic World Aftermath is a suspenseful survival VR adventure with ferocious velociraptors. Uh, step into the action with your dropping immersion. You just landed, you just crash landed onto Isla Sona, and the Velociraptors are stalking your every move. Your only path to safety is to think quicker and move fast. With a nice picture, I think it's supposed to be in the aviary. There's also a Velociraptor there, which is also a little bit strange. Um, embark on a thrilling new chapter. It's two years after the fall of Jurassic World. The mission. Recover valuable research materials from the abandoned research facility and your only hope of escape is to get the confidential information before the Velociraptors get you. Outwit deadly prehistoric hunters. To survive, you'll need to explore the research facility, solve puzzles and find ways to outspot the ferocious Velociraptors. I'm stalking your every move, all in fully immersive VR. Eye-popping visuals, which is obviously what we just commented on. A new Jurassic World look for VR. Vibrant cell shaded visuals enhance the intensity and the thrills. The result is an immersive Jurassic World experience designed exclusively for VR. And that's, that's all that's on the website so far. There's no kind of. There's a little hint of what the story is. So there's probably just some sort of like probably biosyn um, person going into research to steal research from Jurassic World, which is well, what, what kind of it will happen in the first one. But I suppose the experience will be more interesting with it being VR. You're actually in the world yourself. You're going to be experiencing these Velociraptors hunting you. Probably similar to the way the alien hunts you in alien isolation. And it makes me wonder whether there's actually more dinosaurs. We actually got pictures of the compy in there as well at the very beginning of the trailer. As well through the corridor. But you also hear the thumping of something a lot larger which it could be you know it could be something like a brachiosaurus or a pasasaurus or could be or it could be somebody like 
It can't be indeed Dominus Rex because obviously he's killed and this is set two years after, but it could be Rexy. It could be, there's a possibility. Now, anyway, I am excited for this because obviously it's a new Jurassic World game. Um, where did I get to play it myself is another option because I don't know whether I can afford to go VR. But it's quite expensive and I'm not going to go out and spend £200-£300 on a VR thing just to experience this. And it's going to be a one-off experience. It's it's not really... Again, it doesn't make, make sense in terms of spends. I see if you're limited budget and you're a bit Jurassic mad like I am, but it doesn't seem kind of worth it. So I hope they do kind of change it so it's not so VR and you can experience it as a normal game. That will be interesting. Now it will be also interesting to see how long the actual game is itself, whether it's actually just like a short 10 minute experience or it's like a full game of a couple of hours. Um, there's no kind of hint of how long it is in the uh, trailer or in the information that we've got on the website. We'll just have to wait until a bit more information is released by, by the company. Um, but either way, I'm kind of excited for it. If I can't buy it, I'm obviously going to try and watch somebody else experience. It likes a game of B, but maybe best and slow will probably play it. Um, but it's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting experience. It's something new that we haven't got before. But Universal are kind of listening to what the people want, where we have got this kind of survival horror aspect of this game, but with it being VR and shell, cell shade, they always, always say that wrong. Um, it's kind of going on the way to what people want so i'm hoping in the future that we might be able to get something full kind of survival horror in this kind of aspect with it being hunted by dinosaurs but in full kind of realistic graphics that would be that would kind of be the thing because i think everybody's a bit probably a bit bored of kind of management simulators and management simulators park simulators and park management games i mean we've got the recent minecraft stuff which was which is a bit more to minecraft but we want a proper ex experience of Jurassic Park. That will be the main goal. But either way, I'm excited for this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Because I'm looking forward to it. It should be good. Well, I hope so. We're only way to find out when that's when it's released. I think it's next year. Um, but in the meantime, that's it, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Are you excited for this game? What are your thoughts on the uh, graphic style? Because I'd love to hear them. Um, and if you're new and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more Jurassic Re content in the future. For now, I'll see you later. Bye.